Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. On this one, we're in chat LNM Teams. Today, I'm gonna show you their just updated, their just upgraded AI engineer functionality. And in particular, we're going to go ahead and create AI agents, including our own custom AI agents. And if you've looked at the news, if you've been on Twitter, AI agents are the thing these days. People are talking about it. Chat LLM Teams does it the best. I'm gonna show you how it works in the real world. We're gonna do real world use cases and it's gonna blow you away. Join me, let's go. All right, so here we are. We're logged into Chat LLM Teams. If this is your first time logging in, I'm gonna put a link in the description below and keep in mind that it is $10 a month, which is half the price of a Chat GPT license and you get a hundred times more functionality. It's absolutely nuts. Once you've logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this. First thing I like to do, I'm gonna go up here to the top and I'm just gonna click on that little down arrow and you're gonna see here we've got access to all of the large language models, all the state-of-the-art ones. They're right at our fingertips. What we are looking to do is right here, AI engineer. But before I click that, just one other thing here. Do keep in mind that you get AI image generation, AI video generation, document generation, PowerPoints, coding, everything you can imagine, it's all in here. That said, we are working an AI engineer for this video. So here we go, click down, go right to the bottom. You'll see AI engineer, create custom chatbots and AI agents. This is where we're going here. Now, I have made previous videos on creating custom chatbots. So on this one, we're gonna create an AI agent and I'm gonna show you two types and they're gonna be awesome. Let's go. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and select AI engineer. Again, it's down here at the bottom. And for this one, we're creating an AI agent. I'm going to go ahead and click on that here. And automatically you'll see here, it says creating an AI agent. Couple things I should mention, you can select from a template here. So if you are looking for a news reporter or a research assistant, and that one is extremely popular, or you're looking to get uh, document ent entity extraction, you wanna get some information out of your documents, you can go ahead and do that. For this one, I'm just gonna type in, let's call, it Dermabot. So I'm going to call this Dermabot. And what Dermabot is, and this is the first of two different uh, examples I'm going to show you, this is a skincare bot. So it's going to say, hey, I'll help you create an AI agent named Dermabot. Could you describe what you would like this agent to do, etc., etc.? So I've got some stuff already saved up. Now, I'm not too great with skincare. It's not my bag. But hey, this is just to show you a real world practical example. And it's very, very important that this works and it's pretty cool. So here we go. I'd like to show you a skincare assistant on my website. It should give appropriate suggestions on skincare related queries. And here's the best part, refuse to entertain messages that are not in its domain knowledge. This is a huge problem with a lot of large language models. Chat LLM solves it because there's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna start talking about things that it's not supposed to talk about. It's gonna reduce hallucinations possibly even eliminate them. So here we go. And it should be super polite as well, which makes perfect sense because I'm Canadian and we're known for that. So there we go. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and cook that up. It's gonna take a few seconds. I'm gonna come back when it's done. You'll see here that it's executing it. And when it's done, I'm gonna show you what we got. We're gonna do an example. And then I'm gonna show you how you can use your own custom data to take it another step. All right, welcome back. So here's another cool thing. It does an AI agent plan. It's not only cool and it does what it's supposed to do, it's fully transparent as well. I love this. It's gonna give us a step-by-step -step plan. And here's the step one here, and it's kind of got a big long step here, but accept a user's message as an input, uh, if, verify if the message is within the skincare domain, if it's not skincare related, politely refuse to engage, if skincare related, respond with a polite empathetic tone, etc. If you are a business owner or if you're a marketer for a large company, you really wanna know that if you deploy an agent, it's not gonna go off the rails, so to speak, and start spitting out you know, ridiculous things. So by seeing this here and being fully transparent, this saves a huge amount of hassle and it should give you a little bit of a warm, fuzzy feeling so you don't have to worry too much. So there we go, there are the steps outlined. Now, if I wanna add in another step, you could see here that I can add in another step. So um, what, what could be another step? For example, um, I don't know, always say hello as the first word. I don't know, I'm just having some fun here. You could say, hey, thanks for shopping at my store or hey, I hope to see you soon or something. Whatever you wanted to say, you can just go ahead and add in steps. I'm gonna submit that. 
Now it's going to go ahead and it's going to gather the code like it's saying here. And this will take a few seconds. When this is done, we're going to have a working AI agent and I'm going to show you at work because we're going to run a quick example with it. All right, here we go. So let's take a look at our skincare AI agent. How cool is that? So there we go. We put that in here and we're just quickly recapping here. It went ahead and created a plan for us. We added in an extra step just to, you know, have a little bit of fun here. Submitted the form. Here it is. It defines the agent and then it executes the code. It did it in Python, which makes perfect sense because almost all the AI and ML is in Python. And then if you want to copy the code, click on that little button here. If you want to go through it and you're a developer, for example, or you want to make sure there's nothing in there that you don't like, you can go through this line by line. Super cool stuff. So I've copied it. It's fully transparent. And also keep in mind that I didn't put in any of my own code. This is literally just click, one click, and go. You can add in words, but there's no coding. I don't put in any code. And then if we keep going down through here, you can go through it. You can see that it's got some more code. And then let's go to the bottom here. Here's the conclusion. If we want to use the agent, we can click on that here. If you want to know where it's uh, registered and what the ID is, you just click that right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that right there. And watch this. It says here that we are now using Dermabot app. And now let's test it to see if it actually does what the heck it's supposed to do. Okay, so I'm 48. How do I... Uh, what am I? May let's go. 48 male. I want. I want nice soft skin. What do you suggest? And I apologize to all you people out there that know things about skincare. I am a caveman. But hey, whatever. So here we go. Hello. Maintaining a consistent skincare routine is key. Look at this here, though. What's the first word? Hello. Remember when we added that in as our own custom step? It did it. It remembered it. It gave us a suggestion, gentle cleanser, moisturizer, etc., etc. I can't really uh, tell how good that is because I don't know much about skincare. But it worked. It did exactly what we asked it to do. This is a practical working AI chatbot, AI engineer. It's awesome. Let me show you one more technique, though. If you have your own data, you're going to love it. All right, so now we're going to take a look at an example where you have your own data. We're on the main page here. We're just back at the front. We're going to go ahead and click on the down arrow. We're going to select AI engineer. But this time, we're going to create a custom chatbot. We're going to have some fun here. So let's go ahead, create a custom chatbot. Now, it's going to help you go through the process. So what do we want to name it? I'm going to call it Quantum ANIAC. So this is a quantum computer. It's going to be like this quantum computer teacher. Watch this here. Great name. Now, would you like the your chatbot to use any specific data sets or documents? This is the critical part. I am going to type in yes. Now watch this here. It's going to give us an option to upload our own data. So here you go. It says, I'll show you the available data sets that you can select from. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and select a mode for giving data sets. So I'm going to just go ahead and drop that down here. I'm going to upload an existing file. So I've got a file on my computer that I'm going to upload. I can just drag and drop it in here. So I'm going to go into my finder. I'm going to go to my desktop. Here it is. It's the introduction to classical quantum computing. It's only 400 pages long. So, you know, no biggie. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that in here. It'll take a few seconds till it's ready. And then we can go ahead and write down here. Well, we're going to hit submit first. And then I'm going to show you how you can basically say, hey, here's what I want it to do. So here we go. It's uploaded. I'm going to click submit. Now it says form submitted. And now it's going to start cooking now. Great. Could you tell me what kind of personality or characteristics you want the chatbot to have? Yes, I sure can. Let me do that. There we go. I copied and pasted in a prompt. I want it to act like a computer, a quantum computer teacher that only relies on the textbook data for giving answers, and it should have a quirky sense of humor. If you are a teacher, you should be seeing this as an amazing way that you could upload a play or a book, and it can only answer from that document. If you're a business owner, you should also have some bells ringing here. It's like, hey, I've got my FAQs. The answers it gives are only from the FAQ, so it's not going to give a silly answer. There's so many practical use cases. Anyways, I'm going to click on the Go button there. Watch this here. It's going to go ahead and cook it up. It's going to take a few seconds here. When it's done, I'll come back. We'll run an example, and we'll wrap it all up. All right, welcome back. So here we go. It went ahead and executed the code, and it did all the things we wanted it to do here. Again, fully transparent, so you can copy the code. You can look through the code if you are a coder to make sure that it does 
all the things you want it to. It's nice enough to list them out in numerical order. How cool is this? Not only is it a great AI agent and chatbot, it actually tells you exactly what it does. Transparency is important. At the bottom here, you'll see conclusion, and here it is. It's accessible, or you can deploy it if you're one of those types that want to deploy it on your website or maybe on an app. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to just go ahead and access it here. Click on the button here, and there we go. You'll see Quantum Maniac is up here at the top, and it even says a quirky quantum computing teacher that explains concepts from the textbook with a dark sense of humor, or with a dash of humor. I love it. Okay, so I could get, what is quantum computing in 2025? I don't know, just ask it a question. Remember, it's gonna stick to the information in the document we uploaded. So it's not gonna go and search the internet or you know look at an unreliable source. It's gonna go to the 400 page document that we uploaded. So here it is, quantum computing in 2025 as described in the textbook is etc etc guys this is the best ai agent that best ai chatbot functionality in my opinion out there right now it's easy to use it does exactly what it's supposed to do you gotta give it a try links in the description thanks for watching